So in this video we're going to multiply more than two integers. I'll do this example, then you try this one, and then I'll do this example and have you try this one. Okay? So let's start here and um, multiply more than two integers. Well, I mean, it's not that much different and we can think about PEMDAS, but the only operation to do is multiply. So just go ahead and multiply. In fact, multiplication is commutative, so we could multiply these guys first and then these guys, or the two guys in the middle and then the two on the outside, you'd still get the same answer. But in any case, let's just go ahead and take two of the numbers and multiply them and, see, and write down the answer. So negative 2 times negative 5, negative times negative, positive, right? So positive. 10. So this, these two multiply to give positive 10, right? And then let's multiply these two guys here. Negative 3 times negative 4. Negative times negative. Positive, right? So positive 12. Now we have a positive 12, 10 times a positive 12. What's the answer? Positive 1. 20, right? So try this one now. Negative 7 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 1. Press pause if you need more time. Okay, I'll do it now. So you've got negative 7 times negative 2. We'll do those two guys first. That's a positive 14. Then let's try negative 2 times negative 1. Negative times negative, positive 2. Don't need to put in the plus signs, doesn't matter. 14 times 2, 28. Right? Just a note about um, multiplication being commutative. Uh, in other words, on this one, I could have done five negative five times negative three would have given me uh, fifteen, right? And then I could have done negative two times negative four to give me eight, and fifteen times eight is also one hundred twenty, right? Here we could have done, uh, let's say, this two, this negative two times that negative one would give positive two. And this negative 2 times that would give 14, that would be 28. Or we could have done uh, 7 times negative 1 gives positive 7, and negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4, and that also is 28. So when you just have multiplication, you can multiply in any order you like. Okay, so I'll do this one now. We've got positives and negatives, so we'll do this one together. So a 3 times a negative 5 times a 2 times a negative 9. What's the answer there? Just for fun, I'm going to multiply these two guys on the inside first, just for fun. What's negative 5 times positive 2? Negative 10. And now I'll multiply the positive 3 times the negative 9. Positive 3 times negative 9. So positive 3 times negative 9 is a negative 27, right? Now what's negative 10 times negative 27? Positive 270, right? So press pause and do this one yourself. So it's negative 5 times 4 times 3 times negative 1 times negative 1. Okay, I hope you tried it yourself. I'm going to do it now. I'm going to pick some random order of multiplying things just for fun. Just for fun, I'm going to go 4 times negative 1 just to show you that if you have all multiplications, you can multiply in any order you like. But 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Okay. Now I'm going to do this 3 times this negative 1 gives me a negative 3. And now I'm going to just bring down the negative 5. 
and keep going. Right? So negative 5 times negative 4, positive 20, times negative 3, negative 60. Okay? So it doesn't matter what order you do it, as you know, with if everything's been multiplied, it doesn't matter what order you do it, you should always end up with the same answer, right? Let me just check that. Maybe a negative twenty times a positive three, negative sixty. Yep.